Marty Siwi went for a walk in the forest. Talk 49. About three weeks ago, when it was really hot, I think it was one of the days when it got to be 37 in the afternoon, I took the dog for a walk with a friend in the 14th district. It was midday and there was nobody around, not a bird, not an animal, not even an insect, not a sound anywhere. And we walked for about an hour and we were on a narrowish path and she was in front of me. And we suddenly heard this sort of metallic clicking noise. We stopped and listened. Couldn't be children playing. Wasn't a noise that had been made by an animal or a bird. We couldn't work out what it was. So we gave up and walked on for two minutes. Then we found out what it was. The last dying gasp of a dried out tree falling right onto us. Uli ran forwards and I knew I hadn't got time. They say when you're drowning, you see your whole life. I didn't see my life, but I had plenty of time. I could have written two letters, planned the meals for the weekend. You stand there, all these thoughts go through your head. I thought, I can't go forwards. I certainly can't go backwards. The only thing I can do is go sideways and be protected by a tree. Well, right beside me was a wall of blackberries and one thin little tree, the circumference of about my wrist. But it was the only thing there, so I flung my arms around it with my arms sort of over my head. And the tree came down. The trunk missed me. I was just in the branches. And, of course, it went a bit slower because they'd all got leaves on. So I was all right. My poor little protection tree is now just a trunk three metres up and sliced off as if with a knife. But I was all right, not in the blackberries, and climbed out of the branches. Uli was all right because she got far enough forward. The dog had dashed off, but she decided this meant lots of sticks to throw, so she came dashing back again. So in fact, we were all all right. A week later, I went back and looked at it, and I was quite impressed. Two weeks I went back to look at it again, but because it's a Stadt van der Weg, the city of Vienna has been round and cleared it away, so I can't show anybody anymore what it was like. The tree also brought down with it two other smaller trees, so there were three in a heap. I think I was protected that day. Marty Siwi went for a walk in the forest. Talk 49. 49. 49. 49.